Attached to the table bed we have a, a mechanical film cutter and holder. Underneath this tin cover here we have uh, some checks to be done. So we need to remove the cover. So this is a cutting system here. It is a mechanical operation. So from the centre of the uh, the bed we have an eccentric bearing moving this arm backwards and forwards which ratchets on these teeth. This paw here will hold the, uh, the arm as it ratchets out so the arm moves out by the force of that. When the bale is tipped up the linkage then lifts the paw. This arm shoots back in and cuts the film with a knife here and holds the film ready to restart on the next bale. Before we do any maintenance on this, as the arm extends, it tensions the spring, so there's the potential of it firing back in. So before we do anything, we remove the tension off the spring. Now the unit's safer to work with. Okay, an important setting is to check that this, these pores are set correctly to the teeth. So we need to check the distance between the end of the paw and the teeth on the ratchet bar. So we pull it out, we apply a slight bit of tension against it and we are looking for a gap of two to six millimetres between the teeth and the end of the paw. This is to allow the ratchet to work under a free load condition. If we haven't got the distance here, we adjust the adjusting bolt there and that will allow us to maintain that distance. So at the end of the film cutter we have a very sharp knife here which needs to be inspected to check that it is not damaged and is still sharp. It can be replaced using just a, a Stanley knife blade. Also when the cutter closes on the film this roller needs to be tight in contact with the plate here to hold the film ready for restarting of the next bale. So we also need to check that the roller, as I say, makes contact with this plate. If not, it can be adjusted on the outside. Okay, so in the cutting area, this is all the adjustments that need to be doing done. We need to check that there's a smearing of grease on there to keep everything freely moving. Then we need to make sure we have the spring reattached and tensioned. Then we can put the cover back on and this, this area is complete then.